I've had genomic and genetic testing. What is the difference between these two? It's a great question. And, and I get asked this question every day. It, it's important to understand when we talk about genes, there are genes that are in every cell in your body. Again, a liver cell, a breast cell, a hair cell. But then there are sometimes different genes in the cancer. Mm. So the cancer obviously arose from a normal cell, but developed mutations in certain genes that likely made that cancer grow. Mm. And so we have testing for genetics, which is looking at genes that are inherited. So genes that are cancer causing the most famous one and the first one ever discovered was the BRCA, the BRCA gene, mm -hmm. which was now over 30 years ago. But now we have about 40 or 50 others that are associated with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Those are specifically to look at whether the cancer that you have is inherited in the family and could be passed on mm -hmm. to children. Mm -hmm. We actually use a couple of those genes for treatment decisions, particularly the BRCA, the mm -hmm. BRCA1 and 2 mm -hmm. gene. Mm -hmm. But then there's the cancer's genes. And when we talk about genomic testing, so the first was genetic testing, genomic testing refers to testing those genes in the cancer. And that's where a lot of the research currently is, is happening, which is looking at these different genes and whether these genes are mutated and whether we can use certain treatments to target those specific mutations. Genomic testing has also evolved over the last few years Originally, the only way we could do genomic testing is with a biopsy, which obviously was difficult. It involved a procedure, sometimes a procedure that could be dangerous. If a biopsy had to be somewhere inside the body, you're talking about a potential even surgery sometimes to get an, a tissue sample. Mm -hmm. But over the last few years, with the advent of a, of a specific type of technology called NGS or next generation sequencing, we now have the capacity to look at bits of DNA from the cancer that are floating around the body. Mm. So by simply taking a blood test and measuring these little tiny particles of DNA, mm. comparing them to what the cancer looks like, putting it together, and then understanding what those mutations are actually doing, mm -hmm. and then targeting the cancer specifically to those mutations. Mm. We're now looking at doing those tests, because they're so easy to do, mm -hmm. we now do those tests regularly. So for my patients, I'll, I'll order a test, potentially even at the diagnosis of metastatic breast cancer. Not always, some women don't need it right off the bat, some do, but once that cancer may progress, mm -hmm. it's a very good idea to make sure that, that you ask your doctor, should you get this kind of test? Because it's so simple, it's so non-invasive, additional information, is generally helpful. That makes a lot of sense, Dr. Mehta, because when I was initially diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, I was not given genomic testing. But about a year and a half, two years in, we found progression in my spine. So then I was given genomic testing. Mm -hmm.